there's a lot of things you can do with old timbers and but let's talk to an expert let's have a look at this i have with me now merv now merv is an expert. He's been working with timbers for over 40 years. Is that right, Merv? That's correct. We are trying to tell people that we can do a lot of things with these wonderful timbers. I mean, the new timbers are not as good as this. Is that correct? No, they're not. No. Because there's, the trees are new. Is that right? There's a lot of things. This is seasoned. It's, okay. it's recycled for a reason. It's got character. It's got charm. It's got feature. Uh, it's stable. Um, there is a lot of labour goes into it, but the end result is something money can't buy. So you really cannot beat the recycled timbers? Not for looks, I don't think. Okay, right. Now, um, what you're doing here, basically, you're taking some of this, this is demolition timber, is that right? That's correct. Which normally goes to the tip? This would go to the tip, yeah. Okay, and you salvage it from the tip, and you make, what's this? This is going to become tables for restaurants. 700 by 700 but they want something the money you just can't buy off the shelf they want something personal okay. it's got to be denailed if we hit a nail with a saw the saws had it actually I can see how it fits together very close and I, oh the reason for oh that you is, can see look at this it's but been hang on that's not the same with that this no, is, no 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 I've what do you do edged these. Oh, wait. i've already edged them the reason being when these get joined together they must be perfect I can't ah, have a gap. That's how there's no gaps. Yeah. So I edge it, then it's got to go and get dressed. Okay, so basically you just put it through this machine here. This one. Whew. That's a huge machine to just put a little timber there. Well, yeah, but it does it very well. It edges it perfectly. Okay. And then after basically you put it in that, you just put it next to each other. And then, then what do you do then? No, no. You'll notice that some are higher than the others. Yeah. So it's got to go through a dresser. We've got to make it uniform. What do you call it? A dresser machine. So we do dress. you make dresses with it? No, 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 no. No, it's, it's a term in the timber industry for what we do. We dress it, which means we shave them all to a consistent size. So that's the one side? Yeah. Okay. The other side, we tend yep. to just take one mill off. There's a reason for that. They need to see some of the contours, uh, features, whatever. So if we do one mill off at the top, Yep. And then we dress it to 42 finish overall. So now we can see some of the tables that Merv made earlier. Yeah, we can make tables to any size, any specification for the customer. Okay, now we can see that the, the one end, for example, it's the finish that the customer want, which is a rougher finish. And then on the other side, it looks like new. It does look like new because it's come out of bigger size timber. But it's whatever feature the customer wants. They dictate what they're after. Nine times out of ten, they want the rougher look with the feature. Now, hardwood, it's an Australian timber. Oregon is mostly, it's American, isn't it? It's American, yeah. Hardwood is very labour intensive and it's very hard on your machinery. But it's a different oh, because look. Because it's hardwood. hardwood? Yes, it's hard on your There's yeah. a reason why they call it hardwood. It's hard work. <laughs> it's hard everything. <laughs> and your equipment suffers because of it. But it is a different look. Yes, I think that in a way, I can't, I'm not sure which one I like uh, the best. Both timbers, they are different and they're, they're both lovely when they're finished. You only just made the top there. What a, you can't use that unless you're Japanese. Can you just put the legs as well? You can do, yeah. If someone's going to do a bathroom or say a new kitchen yep. and it meets a certain size, they'll yep. come to us, I'll make it, then yep. their builder will then on go and fit it. Okay, now here, this is it. A little sample we made earlier and now you can see the one side that you actually what's happening here that's the side that you put on the planer to take out to make it straight this, this is an off cut of what we're doing here basically this is three pieces that have been glued together yeah. and biscuited now what happens bis biscuit what do you mean a biscuit is a piece of wood that goes in sideways. Biscuit, biscuit is very, 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 very fine. You will break. It's not a food. Ah, it's, it's made from biscuit. timber. It's not. Oh, okay, it's a different biscuit. Yes, it's got a different use in this instance. This is what holds the timber together. Okay. So we glue it and we biscuit it. So after the biscuit goes with the dressing or after the dressing? No, you do the biscuit at the start. That's what holds it together. Then you sand it. That's the top piece. Yep. That's the bottom piece. Okay. Now, if the person wants it the other way around, no yep. problem whatsoever. There's a lot of finishes available. Wire brushing is another finish. Wire brushing, yep. 
Yeah. Maybe we'll have a look at that in another episode. You can show us how we do the wire brushing and what that finish as well. And another finish that we also, I will show you another time, is the finish where we actually apply some paint to it. All different paints, you can choose the color that you want. And then what happens, we paint this and the paint stays in the grooves. And once we, uh, once we sand it, you can still see the paint right through the timber and right through the grooves. And sometimes we get this amazing marks from the, uh, the sawmill and it stays in that and it's really nice. That's correct. But you're talking similar to a lime finish. That's correct, yeah. Yeah. And ideally suited for Oregon because Oregon comes with rings. So there's okay. a soft and a dark, a harder. So when okay. you do that, it does highlight the lines. Okay. Which is and what, what's the rings again? The rings are from the tree itself. Okay. As so the tree grows, each year it gets another ring around it. We found out today what dressing means what a biscuit is, and now we also find what a ring is, but that's in the tree language. It is. It's all to do with timber. Well, Merv, thank you very much. That was very, very nice of you showing us around and uh, showing us your amazing work. If Remember, have a look at the website, have a look at uh, all the different finishes, and then uh, give us a call or email us, and come around and have a look. We can make amazing stuff for walls, for floors, for uh, furniture, everything, isn't it? Any application that timber is used, we can do something with it. Great, thank you. Thank you. Here you can see an example of what happens when we split these timbers in half. These timbers here, they're only about 20 mil thick now, and they will make beautiful wall finishes. And you can see how on the one side, it's all nice and new, looks like new. So you can have this kind of finish, but the ideal one, of course, is this one here which is the, um, the sub-sick look, which is the used look. This is about 100 years old, this Oregon here. And this can be finished in any way you like. It could just be painted. It could be um, even whitewashed. You can see this one here that it has been actually gone through the plane. And you see that finish over there. This is nice and smooth now. There's no splinters. And it could be used for anything, including tables.